Mitchell Scores 96 here with another video review. This time we have from Batman the Animated Series DC Collectibles Clayface figure. So uh, this is more of a deluxe size figure. It will cost over the normal retail of a standard figure and uh, he comes with quite a few accessories. So let's start off with the figure and then we'll uh, dive into his accessories. Alright, so going over Clayface as a figure, uh, one of his head sculpts, of course, will be the screaming one, which I like quite a bit. I, I You know, I think that looks very cool and uh, looks nice. I recently just watched the episode with uh, Clayface. He's uh, voiced by Ron Perlman, which is quite neat. But as you can see, it looks quite nice. I love the fact that his mouth is fully opened, and uh, the inside of his mouth is darker brown than his actual clay skin. His teeth are a very uh, uh, bright yellow, and then I love the uh, the eyes that are outlined in black. I think that looks quite nice. And just the uh, overall design of the this head sculpt, I really do like quite a bit. My biggest issue is this head sculpt is soft plastic. It's soft plastic, that way it lays on him better, and you can still swivel it. Uh, you know, without being stopped. So I, I get the function of it, but I, I'm not a fan of it being soft plastic. The rest of this figure has nice sculpting. I mean, you can see all the little lines there to make it look like it's, um, uh, it's liquid. I think that looks quite nice. Now, paint... Paint's awful. I hate the paint on this thing. The entire thing is like a solid one color. It's it's all just like this light brown. There's no variation in the paint whatsoever, and it's all just one shade, uh, and there's no attempt to make it better anywhere. Um, and then you have these weird marks, like on his chest here. You have this weird, like, glossy piece. You have glossy pieces here. It's just such a cheap, you know, it, it's, it's so, like, everywhere that I'm almost uh, thinking possibly it was like an intentional thing to make him look kind of wet or something and but it's just it's done in like streaks you know it's not done naturally you've got like this mark on his shoulder and it just looks so odd because of it look at all this it's so it's so bad I, I really hate it so I am NOT a fan of the paint on this guy also his paint can chip um, I don't know if I did that because I'm just noticing that now or if it came like that but uh, the little pieces here have chipped off so you can just see um, uh, you can start to see the gray coming through of his original paint. I know that uh, you can, if you have it crunch forward and then you twist the torso, you will scratch this pieces, uh, th those pieces up and reveal the uh, the gray underneath and uh, things like that, which is just very annoying. Um, let me show you his other head sculpt as we continue with the paint. His other head sculpt came with this little piece already chipped off. Uh, that's just how it, how it arrived. You can see the gray underneath. Super annoying. And again, this is a soft, rubbery plastic head sculpt, which is uh, which I'm not a fan of. This head sculpt is very calm, which I like. I think it does look nice. However, the you know screaming one is just a more interesting one in general. Um, but this one does still look nice. So. Yeah, not a fan of the paint on this guy at all. The sculpting is all right. You know, I like the sculpting. It's very uh, uh, big and tough up top. I like the hands. Now, it's, it, he's got a bit of an aggressive grip to them. I think that does look nice. And then the feet look decent as well. So the uh, he doesn't have any, like, speckling in him like he does in the show, um, which is also another piece of disappointment. Going over the uh, accessories, he comes with a multitude of weapon hands. He has a axe, which you can put on. Oh, well, let's try the other one. His, uh, his hands here are all pretty stiff. You kind of have to just pull it and twist at the same time. It's kind of hard to do it while, hold, while having a camera like in front of me. And then kind of push it and twist in at the same time as well. And then he has a little axe. Um, the axe is positioned just in the worst way possible because if you have uh, his arm on this side, it's just kind of like pointed up, which looks really odd. And if you put the arm on this side, it's just pointed in like towards his body and, and up, you know, same, same type of thing. Um, so you can't get it to point down, which is so annoying. I mean, it does swivel, but it's, it's at an angle. So you really can't swivel it to get it to point down uh, without with uh, doing any articulation like this does not look natural because his elbow is now pointed that way um, which shouldn't be the case so uh, I, I don't know what they were thinking there when they when they developed this axe hand uh, as to uh, where his his arm would be t for that to make any sense but um yeah that's just disappointing uh, but it does look nice you know I guess you got this one. This one's kind of nice. I, I do like it. It's it's just uh, an end piece and has this uh, 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 
what do you call this, like a mace? Yeah, like a mace attached to a chain, and obviously the chain is real, so it does, um, uh, it does hang properly, and, and it will swing. So I do like this effect. I think that that is quite nice. Also, in the show, um, Clayface can not only change, like, what he, uh, what he's, um, the form of his, his hand and the objects that he has there. Let me just put the last one in off camera. Like I was saying, uh, Clayface in the show can, he doesn't just change what his hands are, are, um, are formed as to make like weapons like maces and hooks and ha um, axes, uh, but he also does change what his uh, w what it's made of as well. So he can like change his hands to have metal on them and things like that, um, which I don't like. I think it looks really odd to have like metal on him, considering the rest of him is clay. I think it's just a weird gimmick. So I am happy that they didn't go with that. That all of his weapon accessories are all painted um, in the brown, like they're clay and not like they're any other object. So. I am happy about that. I think that that does look natural. And then, of course, his last one is a little hook here. The hook is nice. It's kind of hard to, like, pose that in, like, a I'm gonna get you type of pose, you know, because it's just, like, a hook. Um, but still, it does look cool. One thing I would have liked is, like, a larger, more aggressive hand. I think that would have been cool. I would have probably displayed him like that. I think that would have been nice. And here's Clayface compared to a few of the other Clayfaces. We have the Lego Batman one from the Lego Batman movie. Then we have the Mattel Arkham City one. Uh, so, you know, it's just uh, this animated version is definitely the tallest of the three. Um, but they're all in a very similar scale, so it's actually quite cool to see these three Clayfaces together. Considering they're all the same character, however, their design is so different uh, based on, you know, the, the, uh, the form of media that it's coming from, which is quite neat. And here he is compared with another animated figure. Uh, we have the Mr. Freeze. Um, so as you can see, you know, he's not as big as you might have uh, thought he'd be. Uh, he's not, as far as how tall he is, he's, you know, relatively a normal heighted figure. Uh, most of the figures are either taller than him or just as tall as him or he's slightly taller than them. So he's just about the, the same size when it comes to height. Um, with, however, he is very bulky. Uh, so that's where you're definitely going to see a, a majority of the plastic. And then, of course, the slew of accessories do help with his um, higher price so uh, so you know he's not super uh, tall however he's very bulky before I get into articulation, he of course comes with a standard base uh, that all of these figures come with. I love the base, and I love the fact that they come with bases. I feel like they uh, they really uh, help uh, when displaying the figures, just because they, they look great, they look unified, and they look like nice figures, considering they have their own custom bases. But as you can see on the side there, you have a logo for the show, uh, little like blueprint Im images of Clayface, basically, and then his name there, and the whole um, symbol and things like that. It's a nice little base. It does have a pole with the clamp, his uh, waist is so thick though that the clamp doesn't do anything and he can stand perfectly fine on his own so uh, you don't need the uh, the clamp or anything to display him. I don't even use it. Um, I use the base but just not the clamp. Now going over his articulation it's pretty decent. Uh, he has a swivel head. I mean it's on a ball joint so th uh, theoretically it could do more but considering the way that his head is sculpted it just swivels. He has uh, hinge swiveling uh, shoulders which can be quite stiff sometimes, I must say, especially on the hinge there. Um, so not a whole lot of range uh, up and down, but it does swivel completely. Then he has hinge swivel uh, elbows, and the swivel is at the top of the elbow and at the bottom of the elbow, so you can swivel it in two places, uh, which kind of works as like a, uh, a swivel for the um, wrist, you know, the bottom hinge there, so you can kind of swivel the wrist in basically uh, at the elbow. Then he has an ab crunch, which can go back very far. I do like that quite a bit. It can go forward barely. Um, it mainly just kind of levels out when it goes forward, and then it can swivel, uh, which is nice. His thighs here are on a hinge, and then they also hinge out. And then there's no knee articulation. The knee articulation is a big loss for me. I really think that a simple hinge at the knee would have worked really nicely. And then the feet, as far as I'm aware, I believe they're just swivels. Um, I don't think there's a hinge in there. And considering he doesn't have any knee articulation, he doesn't need a hinge. So uh, his articulation is all right, lacking in the knees. And, uh, and you know, that's definitely the, the biggest um, disappointment for me is the, the knee area. So overall... 
it's an alright figure. I must say, I was disappointed when I got it, and I'm still not completely warmed up to him. I think he looks nice on the shelf. You know, I like Clayface, uh, and I like his look in the animated show. Um, I hate the paint on this figure. I, I really hate it. And I, uh, I dislike the fact that he is like a $40 figure um, instead of the $25 that the regular figures are, considering they've done something similar to this with Man Bat. Man Bat uh, was a larger figure because he came with an extra set of winged arms and uh, and things like that so you got more uh, with Man Bat and he came in the same size box as Clayface um, but that one they didn't charge any more for it was the same price as a regular figure I do uh, admit that you do get a little bit more with Clayface than you do with Man Bat uh, however I don't think that you get um, enough more with him to warrant uh, in almost double price tag um, Personally, I was able to get this for $30, uh, which is nice. I definitely wanted to get this one on a discount, and I'm glad I did uh, get it on a discount. However, I'm not super happy with it. I've been very impressed and very happy with all the animated figures, um, except for this one. This one has been quite a disappointment. So, personally, I would not recommend buying this on full retail, um, and even if you can get it on a sale... I would get it only if you're a big Clayface fan, to be quite honest. You know, I, I'm surprised how harsh I'm being on him, but uh, I uh, just, personally, it was it was a big letdown for me, I, I have to say. So there you go, that's my uh, that's my thoughts on the tra or, um, Batman the Animated Series Clayface figure. Let me know what you guys think of the figure, and thanks so much for watching.